What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and just now Apple did push out their latest iOS 8.1.3 firmware. So in this video, I did want to update you guys on the status of this update, you know, what comes inside of it, what are the changes, what are the fixes, are there any new features, and what does it mean for the jailbreak? So alongside iOS 8.1.3, Apple did release the latest version of OS 10, 10.1.2, and it does include a number of fixes, including a Wi-Fi fix. Now the changes for iOS 8.1.3 include an overall file system size reduction. So I actually did record the amount of space before and after the update, and I did just update to iOS 8.1.3. And I just wanna show you guys in here that I am running this latest firmware, and I'm actually gonna scoot over to photos to show you guys the differences. So this is before, I did have 87.2 gigabytes available. This is the top notch 128 gigabyte iPhone 6 Plus. And over here, as you guys can see, 87.5 is available after. So 0.3 gigabytes were added to my system memory. So iOS 8.1.3 is awesome because it does give you more memory. It takes up less room on your device. So that's a welcome change. Thank you, Apple. If we could see that further progressing in iOS 9, that would be nice. Now, Aside from that, there are a number of fixes as well. The official change log pretty much lists that the required amount of storage is reduced for the software update. It prevents an issue that prevented some users from entering their Apple ID password for messages in FaceTime. It addresses an issue caused by Spotlight to stop displaying app results, fixes an issue which prevented multitasking gestures from working on an iPad, which I myself was affected with, and it adds new configuration options for education standardized testing, not something I personally will need. So there are a few updates. There is no new feature. Features. You know, this is just an incremental upgrade. It's expected to just patch and fix a little bit of bugs from iOS 8.1.2. So, you know, there's really no incentive to upgrade beyond the fact that it does add more system memory. And that's great. I absolutely love them. Now, I will be testing the speed of iOS 8.1.3 versus the current 8.1.2. And when that video is up, you can click right there to go ahead and go there. And now let's talk about the jailbreak. So iOS 8.1.3 does unfortunately patch the Taiji jailbreak. Now, not all of the exploits are patched, but it was noted that it does patch and seal the jailbreak. So you no longer can jailbreak on iOS 8.1.3, whether it's with Taiji, Pangu, or the PP jailbreak for Mac. Now this isn't all too bad news because 8.1.2 can still be jailbroken. The Taiji jailbreak team is very confident that they do have a jailbreak exploit that will work on the official version. If you guys remember, when they officially released Taiji, they said it does work with 8.2 beta one, but they never did actually release it to the public. So here's hoping that they can jailbreak 8.2 when it does drop. But for now, do not update to iOS 8.1.3 if you guys are relying on a jailbreak. Now, if you guys will update to 8.1.3, do it via the computer so that in the future you guys can jailbreak on 8.2. Otherwise, yeah, don't do it guys because it will erase the jailbreak and you cannot do it any longer. The good news is you can still downgrade and I will have a tutorial right here for when that is available. I will be posting that today as well. And anyways, guys, just wanted to update you guys on the status of 8.1.3. It does patch the jailbreak, but it actually does have some nice fixes inside of it. It was released alongside with the new OS 10, 10.1. 1.2, which is also a very good firmware for your computer so that you guys can upgrade if you do have a Mac. I would recommend it, but stay away from this latest firmware update. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and enjoy iOS 8.1.2 on your devices, on your jailbroken device. Peace.